السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello my awesome students How is it going? Today we will complete unit 4 You are what you eat for mega goal 4 Today we will learn offering, accepting and declining food and drink We will identify some new vocabularies and expressions We will listen to the process for creating a part of a chocolate we will identify some new vocabularies and match the word to its meaning. Let's start with the conversation. What do you think our conversation will be about? Excellent. It may be about a dessert or a chocolate cake. Very good. Do you like chocolate cake? Yummy. It's yummy and delicious. I think all of us like dessert especially chocolate cake. Now listen carefully to the conversation between Nawal and Fadwa. Thank you so much for this wonderful meal. It must have taken all day to make such a phenomenal spread. My pleasure. It was no hassle at all. I whipped it up in no time. You are quite the cook. I don't think I've ever had such a gourmet meal. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Can I give you some more of the chicken? Oh, no thanks. I'm absolutely stuffed. Would you like to try the grilled asparagus? No, really. I couldn't possibly eat more. Are you sure? Absolutely. Honestly, I couldn't eat another bite. Oh, that's a shame. I made two different desserts. One is a chocolate raspberry layer cake, and the other is almond creme brulee. Did you say chocolate raspberry cake? Come to think of it, it's rude to turn down food, right? I'm sure I could fit in a bit of that, and maybe I'll have a bite of creme brulee as well. I have a sweet tooth, you know. Okay, now what's the meaning of phenomenal? Phenomenal. Phenomenal means special. Special. Spread. Spread. It means an abandoned meal laid out on a table. Abandoned. Many or much. Okay, a lot of meal, a lot of food. Wet it up. Made it quickly and easily. In no time. Very quickly. Quite the something. A very good, a very good something. Quite the something, a very good something. Come to think of it, something has just occurred to me. Have a sweet tooth, love desserts and candy. Does Nawal assume Fadwa went to a lot of trouble to cook the meal, a lot of pro problem? What does Nawal say? Yes, she says it must have taken all day to make such a phenomenal meal. What food did Fadwa prepare? Fadwa prepared chicken, grilled asparagus, chocolate recipe, layer cake, and almond cream proli. What a change of attitude does Nawal have? What causes this change? First, she says she can't eat another pie, but then she decides that she can eat more when she hears about the desserts. Now we will listen to the process for creating a part of a chocolate. At each stage in the process, the chocolate has a different name. Write these names in the correct order in the chart. Listen carefully. Chocolate comes from the cacao tree, a tree that grows in the tropical rainforests of a number of countries, including Brazil, Indonesia, the Ivory Coast, and Ghana. The first step in turning cacao into chocolate candy is the harvesting of cacao pods. Unlike many modern crops, 
Cacao pods must be harvested by hand instead of machine. After workers pluck each pod by hand, they open the pods with a long knife called a machete. Then the workers take out the cacao or cocoa beans and throw away the husks. Workers place the beans in large piles and cover them with banana leaves. The beans are left there for about a week. During this time, the beans turn a deep, rich color and the cocoa flavor and aroma develop. This process is called fermentation. After fermentation, the beans are scooped into sacks and shipped to chocolate manufacturers. Once the manufacturers receive a shipment of beans, they get down to the business of processing the cocoa into chocolate. The manufacturing process involves many steps, including roasting the beans at extremely high temperatures, separating the shell from the inside of the bean, and getting rid of the shells. The broken bean bits that remain are called nibs. The nibs are then crushed up into cocoa mass and melted. Manufacturers blend the melted cocoa mass with milk and sugar. These ingredients are churned until they become a brown powder called crumb. Cocoa butter is added to the crumb. This mixture becomes a thick liquid called chocolate paste. The paste is put into a machine that smooths it out. The liquid chocolate is then poured into molds. Finally, the chocolate cools down, is taken out of the mold, and becomes a chocolate bar. The first step is pod. Very good. Pod. Number two is pin. Pin. Number three is nap. Nap. Number four is coco mass. Coco mass. Number five, it's called crumb. Crumb. Number six, it's called paste. Paste. The last one, it's called chocolate par. Chocolate par. Now, pronunciation. In two word and three word verbs, the stress is placed on the, on the second word, the first particle. Listen and practice. Number one. Chocolate comes from the cacao tree. Chocolate comes from the cacao tree. Number two. Once they receive a shipment of beans, they get down to the business of processing the cocoa into chocolate. Number three. One of the steps in the manufacturing process involves getting rid of the shells. Four. Workers take out the cocoa beans and throw away the husks. Five. The chocolate cools down, is taken out of the mold, and becomes a chocolate bar. Now match the words with their meaning. Number one, accidents. Excellent for number C, the presence of something in reality. Number C, the presence of something in reality. Number two, staple, staple. Number G, it means a common or important item. A common or important item. Number three, fender. Vendor, number F, someone who sells something. Someone who sells something. Number four, quandary, quandary. For number E, a situation in which someone doesn't know what to do. Number E. Number five, intelligence. Indulgence for number D. Something you let yourself have even though 
even though it may be bad for you. Indulgence. Something you let yourself have even though it may be bad for you. Number six, substitute. Substitute for number B. Something that is used in place of another thing. The last one, delectable. It means delicious. Do you understand my lovely students? Okay, see you later and goodbye.